This is the Weather Extreme video. This is the morning edition for Thursday, the 3rd of October. I'm James Spann. All eyes are on the tropics. A uh, complicated weekend forecast with a cold front coming in from the west, tropical system coming in from the south. Who gets the rain? When does it start? What about heavy rain? Got a lot of things to talk about, so let's go right to it. We'll go with the big picture this morning. That is the water vapor satellite view across the nation. And you can see the players on the field, the big trough back in the northwest United States, developing tropical system in the Yucatan Channel. The tropical system will be pulled northward in response to the trough. And really the key to our weekend weather is how that tropical system behaves. And we should mention there's going to be a lot of snow back in the uh, uh, cold air with this uh, developing storm. Uh, Wyoming, uh, parts of Nebraska, South Dakota, Montana, first big snow of the season out there. You can see all the winter storm watches and warnings in effect. And in the warm sector, severe weather possible uh, later today and tonight. Parts of Nebraska and Iowa. Tomorrow could be an active severe weather day from Oklahoma up to the upper Midwest, uh, up to Minneapolis, St. Paul, and Madison, Wisconsin. The enhanced risk is over Iowa and some of the adjacent states. And then on day three, which is Saturday, no formal risk, but low end 5% severe weather possibilities for places like St. Louis, Chicago, and Milwaukee. We will not have severe weather down here this weekend. In fact, probably not much thunder. Now, this is the map that is so hard to draw because we have a tropical system involved and we really don't have a low-level center yet and we don't exactly know where this thing comes in. The guys at WPC are showing a maximum of rain for New Orleans, Biloxi, Gulfport, Mobile, Pensacola, and a nice stretch of heavy rain north through Mississippi and Alabama. I would still suggest the axis of the heavier rain might be a little to the east of where they have it drawn here, but we just don't know yet. Uh, and for us, the bigger rains most likely will come late Saturday night and Sunday. There's the big picture in the tropics. Uh, Jerry is fizzling out in the middle of nowhere. Uh, obviously, this is the one we're watching, and it's obviously well organized this morning in the Yucatan Channel. I would expect this to be upgraded to a tropical depression maybe by the time you watch this. And it should be Tropical Storm Karen before the day is over. Here's a look at the... Uh, Model output, and uh, again, there's a pretty big spread here. Uh, some over the mouth of the Mississippi, then up toward the Mississippi coast. You've got some over to Apalachicola, but, but I would say the spread is maybe a little tighter this morning. But if you look at the high-res look coming off uh, Google Earth, again, there's, there's a lot of possibilities there. But the, the, the median line on that would be probably somewhere around the Alabama Gulf Coast. The good news, uh, we don't expect this to be a hurricane. Uh, rain is going to be the big issue. Uh, some flooding, maybe a, a spinoff tornado or two in some of the spiral bands, if it can get its act together. Uh, this is the intensity chart, and you can see most of the models bring it to tropical storm strength. In fact, really, almost all the models identify it now as a tropical storm, and then it weakens once it moves inland. And here's the deal on the strengthening. Uh, this is the SSTs, the sea surface temperatures. And you can see that really it's over the warmest water right now. Uh, it looks like there's a bit of a loop current down there in the Gulf. Uh, once it gets closer to the coast, the sea surface temperatures come down a little bit. Clearly, that would support a tropical storm, but you know it's not like this is August or early September. This is October. The water is cooler. And there will be some shear. This is the shear analysis in the Gulf, and it's going to go from that low shear environment now to where the winds aloft are higher once it gets closer to the coast with the trough approaching. So uh, I, I think there's a really good chance this will not be a hurricane. Rain is the big issue. And again, maybe a few spinoff tornadoes, maybe some flooding, and obviously very rough surf. All right, a lot of model stuff to show you here. Let's take a look. This is the GFS first off, the global forecast system. This is the primary American computer model, valid today at 1 o'clock. And again, this is what's happening at about 18,000 feet off the ground. This is where the pressure is at 500 millibars. There's the big trough back in the west and down below that today. will be like recent days, a mix of sun and clouds with the highs up in the uh, uh, mid-80s in most spots. Tomorrow, same thing. Uh, chance of rain. It's not zero, but most places stay dry. You can see that very deep surface low, 1,000 millibars on the Kansas-Nebraska border. And uh, boy, if this were November, that would be a raging blizzard 
And there could be some places that do get a lot of snow back in there. That's a close call. And I'm glad I'm not forecasting that. We got our own problems with the tropical system, and you can see that coming up into the Gulf. It should be Tropical Storm Karen, but again, tomorrow should be a pretty quiet day here. Uh, rain should not be a big problem for high school football games tonight and tomorrow night. And like I said, the chance of rain isn't zero, but most stadiums will be dry. Saturday, as we start the weekend, there's the trough over the uh, nation's heartland, and uh, down below that, the uh, surface low is uh, nearing Minneapolis, St. Paul, trailing front down to Abilene, Texas. And here comes Karen, or what should be Karen. And again, this is Saturday at 1 o'clock. And notice, though, how the inland parts of Alabama are dry. Uh, it bodes well for anything going on outdoors on Saturday. A lot of things are happening. Football, of course. Uh, for the Alabama game, I think there's a good chance that game will be played with no rain. I think for the uh, uh, homecoming parade, no rain. Again, the chance of rain isn't zero, but a good chance rain will not be an issue. Auburn's another story. We'll talk about that as we look at modeling here Saturday night. Uh, and, and let me just say this, too. The GFS is going to be an outlier with uh, the track of potential Karen to the east. Let's look at some other modeling as you try and plan your day Saturday. This is the high-resolution NAM, valid Saturday afternoon at uh, 1 o'clock local time. It's got rain falling uh, on the Alabama Gulf Coast and rain over southwest Alabama, but everything is still below Tuscaloosa. Uh, so, again, you can see, and it's an early kickoff. That's an 11:21 a.m. kickoff. So that's the reason we're thinking that uh, – you know, that game should be dry. And notice how the NAM is much farther west with this thing. It's faster and farther west. Um, it's got the thing coming in over southeast Louisiana. Let's check the uh, RPM model. This is Saturday at 1 o'clock, same time. It's slower. It's got the uh, system below the Louisiana coast like the NAM. It's very similar to the NAM. But again, most of Alabama would be dry. Here's the European Saturday at 1 o'clock. It's much like the NAM. It's got the thing coming in toward the Louisiana coast. Alabama is mostly dry, heavy rain falling down around Mobile and Baldwin counties. And obviously, uh, if you're beach bound, uh, it's going to be very wet on uh, Saturday and windy and bad surf. It's just not going to be a good beach day at all. It's going to be a very rough day. Let's go to the uh, GFDL Saturday at 1 o'clock. It's a little faster. It's got it inland uh, really just north of Mobile Bay over the Mobile Delta. And so I think we can say with some, you know, confidence that a bulk, the bulk of the day Saturday for the northern half of the state will be mostly dry with uh, wind and rain increasing over the uh, southwest part of Alabama. Uh, let's go to late Saturday night. This is just after midnight. Now, this is back to the GFS. And again, this is an outlier to the east. It's got the thing coming up toward Destin and Fort Walton Beach. Just seems to me like it's going to be closer to the Alabama Gulf Coast uh, when it comes in during the day Saturday. The cold front is uh, producing showers around Memphis, but even, you know, this shows us to be dry late Saturday night. And then Sunday, uh, that's going to be our wet day. And again, the, the GFS, I think, is too far east with the tropical system. Uh, there's a chance it could be coming right up through central Alabama. But remember, the heaviest rain along and east of the circulation center so it could be the heaviest rain will be on the eastern and the southern counties of Alabama. But clearly we'll need to mention a good chance of rain at times on Sunday. Now, you know, for the Auburn game Saturday night, that is still a very challenging call. They might get through that game without rain, but I sure can't promise that. We're going to mention rain possible. And it might be a soaking rain, depending on the track of the tropical system. We just don't have enough confidence to go one way or the other. We'll just say a chance of rain for the Auburn Ole Miss game. We'll fine-tune that later. And then everybody gets wet Sunday. And then Monday, everything moves out, and we turn cooler and drier. Monday should be a very refreshing day. Nice north breeze, low humidity, the high dropping in the 70s. And uh, it should be great. And by the way, one more graphic to show you about the weekend rain. This is the NAM, and it's clearly the wetter model. It's got rain amounts of 1 to 2 inches for much of the state with that western track. But, of course, the GFS is much drier, but... How much rainfall is still up for debate? Could this be right? Yes, uh, but I, I would say maybe the heaviest rain over east and south Alabama. Hey, Tuesday, I think we start the day in the upper 40s. It'll be nice in the high Tuesday in the 70s. Wednesday, we stay dry. And a week from today looks uh, 
Looks nice. Moisture starts to come back, but the weather should stay dry. We'll check the end of the forecast October the 18th. Westerlies are clearly dropping to the south. And down below that, a system coming in, maybe some showers approaching. But again, that's out there in the land of voodoo. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes in the blog. Next video by 4 o'clock this afternoon. And if you can, catch us on ABC 3340 News this evening on the live stream or the television side at 4, 5, 6, and 10. Thanks for watching. Have a wonderful day and God bless.